Hey guys, welcome back. I'm gonna take some time here and show you guys how to tie a trap rig. Um, halibut season starting up, it's in full swing, and bottom fishing is going to be kicking off here pretty quick. I use a lot of trap rigs for halibut fishing and I use a lot of trap rigs for bottom fishing, catching lingcod. People use trap rigs all over the world. It is a really good rig and I really think that it will do you a lot of good to learn how to tie a trap rig and that it will make you a better fisherman if you can tie your own because you can use fluorocarbon line, you can use heavier line, lighter line. Um, one of the things that I do that greatly improves my fishing is when my bait is small, I drop my line size and I go with according size line to the size live bait that I have. Um, and I drop my hook sizes too. It's like I'll drop my treble down to like a size 8, size 10 treble hook, you know. I'll go way down small for my treble hook, fishing for halibut and stuff like that. But then again, I'll put a big treble hook on there when I'm lingcod fishing and stuff and I'm running a big mackerel or something for lingcod. So being able to tie your own trap rigs, it gives you a big variety of options and you can use fluorocarbon or straight mono, whatever pound test that you would like. So to start off, I'm going to start off by showing you how to tie one here with the blue rope. And I'm going to show you how to tie a sliding one. So to tie a sliding one, you want to just slide the blue rope through the eye of the, the hook, just like so. And we're going to take this black rope and we're going to take, and we're going to make a loop around just like so. And we're going to take the end of the rope and we're going to wrap it through that loop 12 times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 12 times. And then we grab a hold of the other end of it here, and we're going to pull it tight. And then we take, and we're going to cut off our tag ends here. We're going to slide this down towards the eye of the hook. So now that we've gotten that done, to attach our treble on the back, I tie a bowline, which is a very simple knot. Um, and it can be used from tying your boat up to tying on hooks to your fishing line. So you want to take, you want to slide your line through the eye of the hook. Then we're going to come up and we're going to make a loop. And the way that I was taught as a kid is the bunny goes through the hole and it runs around the tree and then it goes back through the hole. And then you pull it tight. And a bowline is a knot that if you don't, if you take a look at that, that's the way that it should look. And if you don't tie it right, it doesn't come down, it doesn't form a loop, it slides and you will know right away. And I have never had that break, but I don't like using this setup um, because the treble can break off and I don't like having the top slide. If something happens down here and you break your treble hook off and like if you're fishing for white sea bass, they're notorious from what I hear for breaking the trebles off. Um, and if your top hook slides, then it will slide right off. So, I tie my top hook fixed. And I'm going to show you how to tie a trap rig now with the top hook fixed. We're going to set this aside. And the problem with tying it fixed is you have to kind of guesstimate on the size bait in which that you have for the day, which is why I tie a whole bunch of trap rigs to go halibut fishing. Um, bottom fishing, I pretty much know what I'm gonna have. Um, I normally use frozen bait. I Sometimes I catch fresh, um, but I know that they're bigger and everything's tied bigger when I'm going for lingcod and rockfish and stuff. 
but when I'm going for halibut and San Francisco Bay and Tamales, it's hard to say. But the way that I do it is I slide my line through like so. Leave enough extra back here that I can tie my bowline on. And I leave a good generous amount. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come around and I'm gonna get the other end of my rope and I'm gonna slide it through from the other direction. And I look at the way that the hook is made and the shank wraps around to the front side. So I need to wrap from the back towards the front and I grab a hold and I wrap it one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten times. And then I take and I pull it nice and tight, just like so. And now that hook is fixed and it's not going anywhere. And you guys can tie these leaders and leave this big tag end hanging off of them and wait until you get your bait. And then you can just tie your treble on. It's a nice, simple little bowling knot. And you can come way up and tie a bowline right here. Just like so, the bunny goes through the hole, wraps around the tree and goes back down through the hole. And you can make it that, that long, or you can use the rest of this and you can make it even longer. It all depends on the size of your bait. But now if something happens and this breaks off, your single hook is not going to slide off. So now that I've showed you how to tie a trap rig, one that slides and one that's fixed, I'm going to show you with rope and big giant hooks, I'm going to show you how to tie one with 20 pound mono. It's a whole lot smaller, it's actually easier. Um, so to tie it with 20 pound mono, you slide it through the eye of the hook, just like so. And then you take and you come to the other end and you slide it through and you have it sticking out just like so and then you look at the way that it's hooked the hook's made and it wraps from the back towards the front so we're going from the back towards the front and you go one two three four five six seven eight nine ten and you pull it tight and i pinch it to hold it all together as i pull it nice and snug just like so and there you go there's the snelled hook up at the top and then I'm going to come down here and I'm going to tie myself a bowline. And you can tie a perfection loop or whatever that you like. I've always tied a bowline and it's worked for me. The bunny goes through the hole, goes around the tree and runs back through the hole. And I pull it tight. And I cut my little tag end off here. I don't cut it really, really short. I leave a little bit there. It looks just like so. And that's how I tie my trap rig that I bottom fish and that I uh, halibut fish with and I white sea bass fish with. That's the way that I tie it. I'm gonna show you guys how to tie a trap rig here real quick with two single hooks instead of using a treble in the back. Um, it kind of makes it nice when you put this back hook and it's, it hooks in and you pull it nice and tight. And like for salmon fishing, um, I'll take, and it's the way that I tie all my rigs when I'm salmon fishing. So I use two single hooks instead of using a treble on the back. And in California, you got to tie it so that they don't slide. So, um, anyways, we'll get started. So I start off by... I tie the front, the back hook first. So I just slide the, the line through the eye of the hook, go a little bit past the shank of the hook here. And then I grab the other end of the line and I slide it through. And I'm going to, because it's so much line, I don't want to drag all that once I get it tied through the eye and worry about nicking it. 
So I'm just going to make a nice little loop like so, and I grab a hold of it and I pinch it. And then I grab it and wrap it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And I pull it nice and tight. I'll grab my pliers, I'm going to cut the tag end off here. And then I'm going to take my second hook. And I'm going to slide it on. And I'm going to figure out roughly where that I would like it. And we're only about three inches apart. That's what I'm guessing. Yep. One, two, three inches apart right there. And then I grab the other end of the line and I slide it through the eye. And for this one, because of that hook back there, I'm going to just slide it through just barely and pinch it like so. And I'm going to wrap it one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten wraps. And then I'm going to pull this nice and snug right through. I'm going to pinch this down so that it doesn't come unwound there. And I can pull it nice and tight. And those two hooks are three inches apart. And that's how I tie it with two single hooks. For salmon fishing, I get these hooks right next to each other. I really like this for bottom fishing. The way that the back hook lies right there along the tail and just kind of disappears. I think that it's a very good rig for bottom fishing for lingcod. With a sardine or a mackerel or big herring, it's a great rig. In California, you can only use leaders up to 60 inches long. So that's five feet. So make sure that your leaders aren't over 60 inches. They want your leaders to be at least 18 inches. So don't tie them too short. Don't tie them too long. But I hope that this video greatly improves your fishing and helps you catch more fish. Please like, please subscribe, please share with all your friends, and I hope to see you guys out on the water.